Looks like you've been hard at work there, Green. I have. I took off all of the Dura Mater. Which I can see a pile of right Yeah, there. there's a pile of it right there. And I, if you do this kind of carefully, so here's some, some tips, and, and I'll give you some guidelines on this to what I did. As you saw earlier, I had already kind of taken apart this the Dura from this side. And really all I did is I kind of very gently used the side of my scalpel and I kind of just sliced along that way. I didn't want to hack. I just want to very, because it, it, I just want to very gently slice because it kind of really cuts very, very easily. Like it's, it's very paper thin. So I cut all along uh, the top here. And then what I did is I turned it over. I turned this over here and you saw before that I had some cranial nerves on either side of the pituitary gland. I found it pretty easy to just slice on either side of the pituitary gland and then all of that dura mater that was wrapped around the cerebellum just came free. So I was able to take that off. I did leave uh, my pituitary gland, I did leave the, the dura mater still on there because I figure um, I'll, I want to save that and be able to look at him from the inside and then left a little bit on the optic nerve. So just very gently using the side of your scalpel um, as you take off that dura. So now Marsha's gonna go through some more um, brain bits with you and then I'll start the um, cutting the rest of the dissection, oh, the cutting down the middle. All right, so let's, you can see actually straight down right here, you can still see the um, olfactory bulb and then again, the optic nerve or the optic chiasma and the pituitary gland, which is held on by the infundibulum. <laughs> favorite word to say. And if we flip her back over, we can actually kind of see where the lobes make their distinction as well. So we still have our frontal lobe, then the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe from the side, and then the occipital lobe that's kind of from the back. Now, the sheep brain is a little bit different here, but you can still see that the cerebellum and cerebrum are separated by a really big indentation there that is the transverse fissure. Now, if we look kind of straight down that, let's see if we can separate that out. You can see that there's two bumps in there, or well, two sets of bumps, the four bumps that are um, those colliculi. So the two fatter ones, you can see the superior, and then below those, the inferior that make our capora quadrigemina. Um, so I think from here, I'm gonna turn it around. Gonna hey, Marsha. Start doing what? What was this thing again? The central sulcus. Yeah. You can actually see that pretty well. That's there, pretty huh? good. We got a good brain here. Yeah, I guess so. And theirs is a little different than ours. They don't have as much, you know, sensory motor control. That's, That's right. Cheap. All right, so what we're going to do now is cut right down the lateral fissure. We're going to cut through that corpus callosum to see if that we can get through the diencephalon. And we're going to come back when everything looks all, you know, clean and pretty so we don't stress Kareen out too much. 